course outline uh, like uh, that what we are going to have in this course there are a few things that i want to uh, request you before we start this course kuch aisi cheeze hain jo aap kar sakte hain aur wo ye hai ki ek to aapke paas se blank page hona chahiye every time uh, you are attending the classes not today possible obviously and from monday or dusra you must have a pencil and also a copy in your right to write the things because there are very important things that we are going to discuss am i clear to all of you like my voice is clear to all of you you can you can tell me then how i started yes sir your voice is clear now it's clear yes sir your voice is clear okay that's good okay so uh, that's how our our our, our to be uh, like uh, the lecture will start early day at 8 pm okay 8 pm to 9 pm our lecture time will be and uh, first 35 minutes that will be for lecture from me at that time us waqt tak aap log apne what is called mic you have to put it on the mute uh, what is called mode that you can say that and after that we have uh, what is called 5 minutes of break and last 20 minutes that will discuss for the speaking practice and obviously there are few uh, things that are definitely going to tell you okay and uh, in this lecture uh, we'll try to discuss the outlines of the whole course that what, what we are waiting for and what the thing that are waiting for us okay uh, so here you can see there the class 1 in which that uh, we'll discuss what is language uh, like the a bit of the history of the english language uh, the history of english language is so vast and massive that is lengthy that cannot even be discussed in, even in our whole class we we'll just try to sum up the history of english language that where uh, did the english started its journey now after that we'll try what is lighter okay like that we we'll try to discuss what is lighter what is word what is grammar like uh, how important is grammar to learning the english and after that we will discuss what is phrase what is clause this is our class 1 okay and we'll right uh, you can see the note uh, on that that there will be 10 words of a day like every day there will be 10 words for you new words for vocab that is for vocabulary and you have to remember these words every day at 10 words to make the sentences we'll discuss uh, these 10 words in the next class and after this these thing will discuss question to uh, and students uh, one by one speaking practice will discuss it and also there were some questions and also there will be a open discussion on the few english quotes uh, movies that is a, obviously a very important part in in learning english and obviously the good books Uh, so this uh, will be at the class one from our side okay and next when we we'll move to our class second then in the class second we'll discuss what is sentence what is subject that is very important what are the helping verbs and uh, what is object obviously and what is predicate oh predicate that the new word may be for all of you that uh, maybe some of you get aware of it and then we'll try to uh, start our journey into a little bit depth that is obviously types of the sentence there will be again 10 words uh, for every day that is vocabulary i don't have to tell you and every time and uh, there will be open discussion as well uh, on the few things and next we have our class 3 uh, in that we discuss the type of the sentence on the basis of a function there are about six types of uh, a sentence on the basis of a function that we discussed it and after that the 10 words that obviously and that's question and answer and open discussion speaking skills that will be polished okay next our class 4 uh, that will be in our first week like next thursday and that will we discuss the type of a sentence on the basis of a structure like in the last class in the class 3 we discussed the type of a sentence on the basis of a function but in class 4 we'll discuss types of a sentence on the basis of a structure and also four major type of a sentence again 10 words question answer english quotes movies and books that will be discussed in class 4 as well okay next we have our class 5 that will be your test day like the four classes that we have discussed so far uh, till the next friday from monday to friday to friday will be the test day of last four classes all like test of the last classes students presentation question and answer open discussions on some topics and few words will be given to make the sentence like uh, uh, that will be a sort of test for you okay so every four or five classes i have arranged a test for you next in class 6 
uh, we'll try to explain the difference between the phrase and clause. That is going to be a very important topic and you will not uh, skip this topic at any cost. Uh, some examples uh, with great explanations and also there are a few words that will be our class six, okay? In class seven, we'll come to our parts of speech and the parts of speech you know that are very important uh, in respect of learning English because uh, without uh, parts of speech you cannot really what is called learn English. So we'll just to discuss the introduction of the eight parts of the speech in the class seven and then we'll have our class eight in that way we'll discuss our first parts of speech that is obviously a noun and we'll discuss the classification of the noun like there are six or seven uh, major types of the noun we'll try to discuss that types as well in that class number eight of course there will be 10 words for, for for the class eight as well every day every day you have to remember 10 words and next we have our class nine that is pronoun and also the classification of the pronoun against the same routine that will go 10 words question answer vocab uh, obviously your speaking practice that will be polished in class nine as well next we have our class 10 will get started that will start with the verb and introduction to the helping verbs like a classification of the verb as well uh, also we will just try to discuss in in class 10 as well that the classification of the verb and auxiliary helping verb that is of course uh, should would could can like that words also discussed in class 10. next we have our class 11 that is about adverb also about adjective that we are going to discuss all explanation of the types again 10 words for you in class 12 we'll discuss the proposition that is very important in learning the english language we'll discuss about conjunction interjunction and their examples as well so this will be our class 12. next we have our online test again on class 13 test day that is going to be a test from your side online test in front of the whole class the test will be uh, discussed of all the parts of speech noun pronoun verb adverb adjective preposition conjunctions interjection everything that will be explained uh, and that will be the test that is conducting and getting uh, from your side next we have class 14 that will start our journey uh, with the tenses uh, why tenses are important um, in learning language uh, so introduction to all the tenses a uh, few questions about the last lectures as well uh, so there will be the uh, 10 words as well for you for the vocabulary portion as well. Uh, next, our class 15 will get started. That will the past indefinite tense will start our journey of tenses from the past side, making the tenses into the simple negative interrogative way. There are 10 words as well, okay? Uh, so this will be our class 15. And next we have our class 16 that is past continuous tense and uh, making sentences to the simple negative interrogative in the same class. We'll discuss to uh, what is called past perfect tense as well. And also try to make the sentences into the simple negative and interrogative sentences, okay? Next we have our class 17. In that way we'll start our journey to the next level that is past perfect continuous tense and also an introduction to the wh family words like who what why when oh like the words like that will start in the class 17 next we have our class 18 and that is online test of the past tense complete some sentences for students to make like in that class i'll give you some sentences that you need to make online in front of all the class uh, and also making the sentences into the negative interrogative simple interrogative plus negative using the wh family words like that and simple tense as well okay next we have our class 19 in 19 class we'll discuss about present continuous tense making it simple negative interrogative interrogative plus negative and then we'll discuss the present perfect tense okay uh, of course the 10 words every day that will be given for you for your vocabulary portion there will be the question and answer for the students speaking practice
सर आपका माइक बंद है Okay, so in that class 25, uh, we'll try to discuss active and passive voice. Uh, that is, uh, let me introduce you to the uh, class 23. I think from that side, uh, Shudya, uh, you didn't hear me. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, my voice is clear to all of you. Yes, sir. Okay. That yes. is class 23. Uh, that is present uh, future perfect tense and in class uh, 24 that will be the test from all the tenses okay that is present past and future all the tenses next day uh, we have class 25 that is introduction to active and passive voice uh, what are the active voice sentences like what is the passive voice sentences and why do we make the passive voice sentences like uh, are we mad that in English the way we are asked to make the passive voice sentences or is it important to know uh, the art of making the passive voice sentences? We'll discuss the rules as well in that class. Next uh, in class 26 to class 2031, you need to have a fully observation on the screen. Uh, like I can I, I can see it for the, from the arrow sign. Like passive voice of the present tense in the class 26 and class 27. Passive voice of the past tenses in class 28 and class 29. And passive voice of the future tense in class 30 and class 31. So that uh, will hold with to it next we will have an online tense uh, what is called test of all the passive voice sentences examples and details that you have to discuss okay next day all i request you to please uh, mute yourself for a while uh, you will definitely give a bit time to speak in class 33 you will start our journey of direct and indirect narration these are also very important in class 33 we'll only discuss the why we use direct and indirect its rule and its importance and in next uh, class 34 we'll discuss present tense and their use in direct and indirect in class 35 we'll discuss past tense direct and indirect in class 36 we'll discuss future tense in direct and indirect speech okay next uh, uh, our class 30 will be a test day of the direct and indirect speech like in class 30 we'll discuss it so in class 37 and next in class 38 we'll discuss about the gerunds and the participles like their importance about that things we discussed in class 39 we'll discuss uh, about auxiliary helping work these are also i have explained you earlier we'll discuss in detail and next uh, we have uh, what is called like uh, class 40 to 44 will spend most of the time in polishing your speaking skills like in that way we'll discuss the essay writing as well like speaking practice listening skills uh, speaking skills as well in class 40 to 44 we'll discuss it and next two classes in last uh, three or two lectures like uh, uh, 45 and 46 one by one interviews online interviews will be conducted by me and in that uh, interviews your your levels your skills will be checked uh, and that will be scored according to your polish like this person score uh, 70 out of 100 that person score 80 out of 100 and that way uh, you will stand first second and third in the class and after the conduction of these interviews will be what is called being recorded uh, at the time on my computer screen and these interviews will be shared to my youtube channel as well that will be uploaded uh, from my side on my what is called uh, on the youtube channel so that was all from your course i hope you will enjoy this learning now it is an open session for you i am uh, screening uh, stop sharing the screen and now you can ask that whatever that you want to ask any question that from your side that will be entertained okay next uh, 15 minutes you have for the question and answer okay Okay, so dear students, have you seen all the things that I have explained to you? Do you have any questions, Shaja, Fath, Intisar? Hello? Yes, sir. No, sir. I okay, don't have so, any question. Okay, so have you seen that what is written for you? That what is coming uh, sir, in can, next two months for you? Sir, can you give a little bit explanation of gerund and participle? Okay, gerunds and participle there that you can say that that smoking cigarette is not good for health. That is basically what is called gerund. When you are, we have a start of a sentence, a verb with ing form, and uh, like uh, uh, I I bite uh, what is called. Uh, 
speaking person like that way you are you are that that verb form of verb ing that will turn into the participle like when your form of verb ing is standing like a noun or a subject at the start of a sentence that will obviously about the gerund and things like that uh, so we'll discuss it in the in the explanation okay okay sir is there anyone uh, like fourth can you hear me Hola Mustafa is there anyone Intasar Daud Khan like Zain Soheb sir uh, what type of questions will be asked during interviews uh that will be very normal question like uh, what is the question that is being asked uh, in the different forces that you can see it uh, like introduction like future plans and uh, that will actually uh, to know about your knowledge and there will be some question that will be asked about this course as well okay sir got it yeah of course about the nouns and the pronouns and things like that i'll i'll ask you okay sir Abdullah Jindu I do you have any question like and can see you that you are online but you are not asking the question No sir right now I am not having any question you are not asking why can I ask a question sir much better as compared to the rest of the students uh, so that is only hesitation that we feel in ourselves that's because of the lack of speaking when you speak a lot you will have a fully what is called confidence in yourself that you can speak and uh, mostly the students that uh, they make the mistakes that they do not practice a lot uh, mostly that i've seen because they do not uh, find the friends to whom that we can speak english uh, that we can listen to english and as we know that in pakistan we don't have any what is called entertainment sources as well where we can see it good english is being spoken in into the entertain entertaining way so that, that your interest is getting grabbed that is why and one more thing that as we are mostly we do uh, speak english but we have a lack of vocabulary that is why we cannot choose the proper word to a proper place that is very important uh, because uh, in english uh, you have a lot of vocabulary every day there are 94 words or maybe 90 five words i believe that has been added to the english vocabulary dictionary of vocabulary so you need to grab as much vocabulary as possible try to what is called analyze it don't use every day if you have a chance you need to write a few articles every day writing skills will be a need to be polished speaking skills listening skills uh, so these are the very important things yes thank you sir okay Daud Khan, who I don't know who are you, but you can ask a question. Yes, sir. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You can ask a question. Yes, sir. I have one question. That uh, so, uh, sir, uh, where are you starting from? Like uh, tenses or part of speech? Where are you starting from? Actually, I'm starting from where I am. Like, we're starting from the parts of speech, actually. Okay, that's great. So, as you know, yeah. sir, that uh, I am a good in this thing, but I don't have a speaking skill. So, uh, that's why I am joining this uh, course. Okay. So, uh, uh, I'm not in, uh, uh, you know, in, in uh, speaking. So, that's why I'm joining. at course okay, yes. so, so you will definitely get polish uh, speaking skills is is not very what is called uh difficult to grab the skill uh, it's only a matter of practice and uh, skipping away the hesitation you are feel uh, that you feel when you feel in front of the whole class when you speak in front of the whole class and you speak a lot every day you have words to to make the sentences uh, you have debates you have news to get discussed obviously your your speaking skills are going to get polished okay Okay next anyone uh, we have 6 minutes left Is there anyone who can ask
ask a question? Mm, sir, I have a question. Yes, sir, you can ask a question. Okay. Mm, sir, a uh, difference between online study and college study. Sorry. The difference between online yeah. study at home. Okay. And the study of the college. Okay, actually the world is changing very rapidly. You see that uh, everything is going to switch on the online. And uh, in studying the college, that is more obviously you cannot have an alternative of it. Uh, obviously you have a physically class or like that. But the uh, online study or the study at home, it has its own benefits. Like you have a very easy environment. You can have a cup of uh, tea in your hand. You can have a biscuits, anything that you want to eat, you can eat. So I think uh, for learning, that is very important that you are uh, sitting in a very easy environment. Like in college, you don't have easy environment. Maybe chair is not easy for you. Maybe the temperature of the room is Recording not Recording stopped. For you. Okay, so maybe the temperature of the room is not easy for you. Maybe the person to whom that you are, uh, what is called, hearing, that is not easy for you like that. But in online, you have your interest. You have each and everything that you can have as a person or as a human being. So you can have a good environment at your, at your home while you are in mind. Sure, sir. But... Uh, um, जैसे कि हमें यूनिवर्सिटी लेवल पर पढ़ाया जाता है बिजनेस तो अब हमें वो शख्स बिजनेस पर आ रहा है जिसको बिजनेस के बारे में कोई एक्सपीरियंस नहीं ओके तो अगर इसकी जगह हम लोग इस तरह किया जा सके कि हम उस शख्स को हायर किया जाए कि जो जो बिजनेस पढ़ाना भी जानता हो जिसने जिसके पास बिजनेस का एक्सपीरियंस भी हो तो ऐसे स्किल वाले उस्ताद से स्टूडेंट ज्यादा सीखेंगे या उस स्टूडेंट उस उस्ताद से स्टूडेंट ज्यादा ज्यादा सीखेंगे जिसको बिजनेस के बारे में कोई एक्सपीरियंस ना हो Oh, that's a dilemma or that's a problem of Pakistani culture, obviously. Uh, you cannot see these things in Europe, in the good educational sector, like if you get the example of the Finland, Switzerland, Japan, and the countries like the Scandinavian countries, they have a very good educational sectors. So you cannot have, uh, this meeting uh, link is going to expire in next three minutes. So if you want to carry this class, like you have more questions, so you can, uh, we can start a new link with a new meeting, okay? Like you can start a new meeting with, with some of the new links because this link is going to get expired in next three minutes so are you interested in continuing this class yes sir कौन कौन इंटरेस्टेड है जी आप चाहते हैं कि क्लास आज और अभी तीस एक मिनट और जारी रहे तो हम लिंक को जो है ना वो रिन्यू कर लेते हैं यस सर प्लीज ओके सर आई एम इंटरेस्टेड Okay, I am going to send you a new link as this link is going to get expired. Uh, uh, you have a new link in your what is called WhatsApp group, so you can uh, come with that link. Okay. Okay, sir. Hello, Jee. Hello.